Greetings Earthlings, I'm back with another review of a budget USB condenser microphone, this time from Amazon. Oh my god. Okay, so today we're reviewing this guy, the Amazon Basics Desktop Mini Condenser Microphone. And if you do want to pick this guy up, it'll set you back around $43. And like always, I'll throw some links down below. For the majority of this review, I have the mic connected directly to my Mac with my input gain set at around 40%. I'm not going to do any post-processing, but I will likely boost it in post. So check the doobly-doo to see what I diddly did. And lastly, I will be using a pop filter throughout this review because this thing sucks with plosive and I don't want to kill your ears. Now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in this very plain looking cardboard box. You do obviously get the microphone, which has the mount already installed, which has a 5 8 inch threading. You do get the desktop tripod stand. You get a one and a half meter long USB cable, and you get some documentation. As far as the build quality of this thing, I'll go ahead and put it in terms that all the young memesters out there can understand. Feels bad, man. It has an all plastic body which feels very weak. It's got a metal grill which actually does feel somewhat sturdy. It is also very, very light and cheap feeling. On the top of the microphone, you will find an LED indicator light which will only indicate if the microphone is on or if it is muted. Speaking of muting the microphone, you have a microphone mute button which will turn the light red. And on the back of the microphone, you just have a USB port while on the bottom, you have the previously installed mount which as I mentioned, has a standard 5 8 inch threading and that is it. As far as specs, this thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 50 hertz to 18 kilohertz, or if you want to go ahead and believe their Amazon listing page, it's 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. I don't know what to believe because they don't know how to properly match their information. It also has a sensitivity of around negative 35 decibels, a bit depth of 16 bit, and a sampling rate of up to 48 kilohertz. Okay, right now I'm zero degrees on the microphone, spinning it around to 90 degrees to show you the off-axis rejection and coloration. We'll go ahead and continue around to 180 degrees, continuing around to 90 degrees, and then we will continue back around and end at zero degrees. Now I'm typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm right on top of the microphone to show you the proximity effect of this thing. About three inches away from the microphone, about one foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone, and four feet away from the microphone. So throughout this entire thing, I've been using this pop filter because it does a really bad job at rejecting plosives, so I'll go ahead and take it away and demonstrate that for you. Please bring pizza pronto, Papa John. Pretty bad. Okay, now I have the Amazon Basics USB mini desktop condenser microphone connected directly to a Windows 10 PC. My input gain is set at 60%, and this is how the audio is sounding. Okay, so right now you can see that my gain is set at around 25 or 27%. I'll go ahead and drop it to zero and slowly increase it so you can hear what kind of noise the preamps on this microphone make. 25, 50%, 75%. Jeff Bezos, please tell me who you sold your soul to Cause you should be worse than these mic companies God, man, just what the actual f is going on here? I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what's happening anymore. How is this as good as it is? How did Amazon just decide, hey, we're going to make a microphone and it turned out this well? That's not how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to have to work towards it. Their first attempt. 
sounds this good. So in terms of pros, if you couldn't get this from what I was just saying, I think this thing sounds surprisingly good given the price and considering this is one of Amazon's first attempts at a microphone, it also has surprisingly clean preamps and a lot of gain. But then in terms of cons, this thing is absolutely atrocious when it comes to handling plosives. It is also a bit boxy or on the verge of being boomy when you get on top of the microphone. It also doesn't offer zero latency monitoring, which is a bummer, but given the $40 price tag, I can't fault it too much for that. And it has a very cheap feeling build quality to it. So as far as my overall thoughts of this microphone, on the electric guitar, I will say it was a little bit muddy in the lower frequencies. It also wasn't overly exciting. It wasn't something I'm going to throw on the guitar cab if I want to get a nice recording. But if you're just demoing stuff at home and trying to record some ideas, I thought it was perfectly fine and perfectly usable for that. Then for the acoustic guitar, it's a very similar story. It's not going to blow your hair back. It's not going to lead to the most exciting recordings, and you're definitely not going to find it in professional recording studios. But for your first microphone or just to record demos, I think it's great for acoustic guitar there. Then for singing, I actually found this to be a pretty warm sounding microphone and have a pretty smooth tone, which I actually ended up liking, which I can't believe that I'm saying. And lastly, for spoken word, other than the fact that it sucks at handling plosives, I have almost no issue with this microphone for a beginner. So would I recommend this microphone? Well, I came into this review expecting this thing to be complete unusable garbage, and I'm leaving it pretty damn impressed with the performance in a lot of use cases. So I guess I'll say this. Is this the best condenser microphone on the market? No. Did they sacrifice quite significantly in the build quality department? Absolutely but it does seem like they sacrificed in the build quality department to have a little bit more money to spend on improving the audio quality, which as I've said about a thousand times right now, is surprisingly good. So to answer the question, yes, I would 100% recommend this microphone, but make sure to pick up a pop filter because it is absolutely essential, and I would also recommend picking up a boom arm so you could get the microphone a little closer to your mouth. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today, but I do want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Were you surprised by this microphone, or was it just as good as you were expecting? Also, if you found the video useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Want to influence what are of you? Head over to geeksrising.com slash podcastage. Go cast a vote there. Want more videos like this? Click the logo beneath me. Check out the Discord server. Link in the description, and I will see you all on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.